So you can imagine the ocean is like a giant game of tag. And these salmon and other animals in the ocean, are they're the ones that are trying to avoid us, and we as humans are it. When I played tag, there was usually a place where we couldn't get tagged, and it was called base. And just like in that game of tag where you might have a base, the ocean actually provides some of these areas too, and actually it took people to create them. And these bases that I want to talk about real quick are called marine protected areas. And the one we're going to visit right now is called Pyramid Point, and it's right near that state park that we are visiting. It's going to be an area where Sammy the Salmon is going to enter. And while she's here, she's going to be safe from a lot of our own activities. In order to, to take a look at it, uh, we'll have to go underwater with a research crew. And they have what's called a remotely operated vehicle known as the Beagle. And the Beagle is covered in cameras. So they're going to be able to drive this vehicle from the boat and they're going to be able to look underneath the water and see what's living in this protected area. So a lot of this marine protected area is called soft bottom habitat. It's this flat looking muddy area. You might notice that it looks kind of like it's snowing. It's just covered in organic matter that's just sort of floating around there. It's great food for a lot of creatures. So another area here is called Rocky Reef. Rocky Reef habitat, we might find lots of sea anemones or these basket stars, those orange colored frilly looking organisms. We also find a lot of fish in this area. So there's some neighbors to these salmon. We've got the rockfish. Of course, these are animals that spend their whole lives in the ocean. So, but you notice that in our marine protected area, we didn't just protect the rocky environment, we also protected the muddy environment. Why do you think it's important that we protect that soft, flat environment where we didn't see lots of animals? It's still, it's, you still have to protect that because it's, a safe, it's still a safe zone and more animals might come there eventually. And there still is animals in there. There's still like, even if there isn't too many, there's still some. There's still some, yeah, great answer. Yeah, there's a lot of different organisms that are adapted to live in different places. or. Perhaps there are some animals who, at one stage of their life, they hang out in the muddy areas, and then another stage, they hang out in the rocky areas, just, way, just like the way salmon live in fresh water at one stage and salt water at the other stage. Fishermen, lawmakers, scientists, and citizens had to come up with solutions everyone could live with. Without compromise, MPAs wouldn't exist. Hi, I'm Jennifer Langer at Crystal Cove State Park, and I just want to take a moment to talk to you today about the ports program that we do here at Crystal Cove. So here is the vehicle that I use. We have nicknamed it the Edugator, and we do drive this down to the canyon and onto the beach to deliver the ports programs. And on the beach side of our story, we're talking about MPA protection. It's a key concept in our ports program here at Crystal Cove. So one of the things we do with the students is talk about what it means to have an MPA and how we can protect the marine diversity out there. So over here on the gator, I actually have a lobster set up. And when I do a program, I actually have the kids measure lobsters to determine if they're legal size to harvest. So we've got our lobster gauge, which is automatically set to three and a quarter inches. I've got my model lobster, which is already marked off. The area that needs to be measured is just the carapace. And so on the document camera, I actually hold up the measuring tape to the lobster and I have the kids determine if it's a legal size lobster or not. I do even have a few real carapace of various sizes that again, I will have the kids measure on the document camera to determine if it's a legal harvest size lobster. Thanks for taking the time to learn about marine protected areas. We look forward to seeing you soon.